right world, another week, another opportunity for me to give back for those that are willing to make their dreams become a reality. And just to let you know, I'm not there yet. However, it's not stopping me from giving back the things that I'm able to achieve in my everyday and every week's success. This week, I want to share with you Richard Cannard, a good friend of mine's story, where he was born and raised, the support and the reason why he became a professional athlete, and the why. Every day he wakes up, every day that he trains and plays, the why of his life. Well, let's hear it from Richard himself. In Samoa, that's when you know the, the struggle is real. Yeah. It was tough. Before, I, I remember before schools, we used to go and, and get and like, climb coconut trees just to get coconut to do, to, to make food for the afternoon after school. And then when school finishes, we'll do the same thing. <laughs> go to the plantation, get food for family. So that was that was pretty much our routine until we until I moved to um, to New Zealand. But the life in Samoa, it, it was tough. It was tough going up, but I honestly wouldn't change it for anything. Cause yeah. now I know not to take things for granted. Nice, especially with forty, just with forty, just normal, just normal, th normal things in life. Only my mom, man. Yep. The real, the person that pretty much got me to where I am today. Yep. Cause my mom worked two jobs. Okay. So she used to work in the mornings and then in the afternoons. But then she had a she had like a stroke accident in 2010. Wow. So when my mom got a uh, an accident, my brother stopped pursuing his career wow. and she helped out my dad with work. And then uh, in my head, like I wanted to. To actually give up footy, get wow. work. Not because, not because, like my family was struggling, but also because trading was getting tougher. Yeah. So uh, at that time, I was like, mate, I'll, I'd rather work than training, just because training was too hard. Like she, she believed in me, and she knew that if I kept doing the right thing. Everything will fall into place. So she she encouraged me to keep training, keep work, like, keep working hard, and keep doing the right things. That's why now I'm playing footy, not only for my family, obviously, but mainly just just for her. Who would you like to give back to in return of the unconditional support in your career, Richard? Only just just be the just be the best son. Yeah. Well, you've seen and heard it firsthand yourself. I want to invite you this week to really ponder, really take a step back in your life. Whatever you're chasing, whatever your goals are in life, take a step back and appreciate everything that you have. I love the analogy that your cup is always half full rather than half empty. And that's the same thing that you can apply in your personal life. The attitude of gratitude is always appreciating everything that you have rather than the things that you don't have yet. I promise you that if you continue to focus on the positive aspects in your life, that you will see that more often and before you know it, your dreams will turn into reality. Stay tuned as I make things happen here in The Greatness Company. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,